So we made it out to the uh, pinnacles here. Look at this rock formations. That's so awesome. That's one of the best fishing spots. That's us down there on the rocks. Uh, we came a little bit unprepared. We didn't bring uh, all the bait and burly we wanted and only managed to catch a few small snapper on that day. But there's so much structure around there. Now one issue with the pinnacles is you can only get to the spot two hours each side of low tide, uh, otherwise the water will be too high. It took us about one hour to walk uh, to the Pinnacles. It's a beautiful walk out from Fletcher's Bay, but it's also a very difficult walk. Uh, you know, you have to climb over the rocks and so on. So folks, we almost made it. Those are the Pinnacles over there, as you can see. Two Pinnacles, big one and a smaller one on the right. We'll have to check once we get there where the wind comes from and it's quite a bit of climbing to get over there. So we made it out to the Pinnacles. It's a really nice deep ledge here and I'm going to chuck out a stray line uh, rig. Just a tiny little weight and a nice piece of salted bonito. So our next spot is called the northernmost point and this is a very nice rock fishing spot as well. Look at all the structure down there. It's really really nice. There's lots of seaweed going on and deep water just off the rocks. Uh, beautiful rocks. Lots of current is flowing past there. Prime spot for kingfish. When we were there we caught a few small snapper. We couldn't find any kingfish but um, you know that was just that day. It's really steep to get down there, not an easy access. The road is quite easy, like the rest of uh, the uh, Cape Colville roads, gravel road, and you just drive up. There's not much parking around there, so you just park by that Cape Colville farm park sign and leave the car there, and from there you can just walk down. Oh. Quite a bit of bush bashing to get to this fishing spot. So guys, this fishing spot here is the called the northernmost point. Um, a really good fishing spot for kingfish. It's quite difficult to get here. You have to, uh, you know, bush bash a little bit to get to the end of it. It's very steep, and as you can see, there's a bit of a rope for the last couple of meters. And uh, I wouldn't trust this rope, so it's better bring your own rope. Um, and then basically this is the most difficult part, the first part. Once you get down to that second pole, it's basically a bit of rock climbing down to that spot. It's a really good fishing spot here in northern Coromandel. I so made it down to the northernmost point. Got a couple of fishing rods, my surf casting rod, my stick baiting rod and soft bait rod. Uh, a nice climb down here. Beautiful day today. And I'm uh, just gonna set up my stuff. I've got a bit of burley with me today, so while I get my burley a bit going here, I'm just going to cast uh, some stick baits around to begin with. I'd be really keen to catch something on the stick bait, man. That would be awesome. All right, see how that stick bait works. set up camp here in this bay and did a bit of rock fishing and uh, I also went out on my kayak. It's a really good spot actually to uh, launch a kayak here and paddle out to the points. 
the beach itself at Port Jackson uh, next to the campsite is very shallow but we have seen a few kingies cruising around just on the left hand side which you can see here there's a bit of a uh, structure an old wharf and uh, the campsite is right next to the beach which is a beautiful camp best fishing for us were the rocks out at the right hand side. You can walk all the way out to that point and that was a really good uh, rock fishing spot. We caught our biggest snapper there. This is us fishing at the right side of Port Jackson. We had a really good time there. Just that bait runner prop on. That's a good size we got off the rock. Nice snapper here in uh, Fort Jackson. Awesome. He ate a whole pilchard in a straight line rig. He's got nice kelpy collar. I think that's the perfect size for eating. This one is bigger than the original He's not a small penny. over Fentil Bay at the moment. Uh, just behind us there is the uh, dock campsite which is really cool you know camping and uh, fishing is always a great combination and I'm just looking down at the uh, little beach here in front of the dock campsite and there's already a lot of structure right next to the campsite as you can see like what a nice rock fishing paradise right in front of the campsite. As you can see, that's uh, facing south now. Uh, there are so many uh, rock fishing spots in this area. And if I face to the northern side, there's even more. Uh, it's basically, you can see the road going up here towards Port Jackson. And the whole coastline is just one rock fishing spot after another. So guys, there you have it. So we got a couple of ni really nice uh, fishing spots here on the northern end of Coromandel in uh, Cape Colville. We showed you a few on the uh, eastern side. Pinnacles, uh, the northernmost point, Port Jackson of course. And then here on the west facing side, Fentail Bay and the whole coastline up and down this side. It's just perfect rock fishing um, for targeting big snapper and uh, kingfish. While we were here, we didn't have the best weather, so we caught a couple of nice snapper as you've seen, but uh, we caught a lot of small snapper as well. Those are our favorite fishing spots here in the northernmost part of Coromandel, Cape Colville. We started over on the east coast with uh, the Pinnacles. What an awesome rock fishing spot that is, hi. Eh? And then uh, we had a look at uh, the northernmost point. Really good, but you gotta do a bit of climbing to get down there. Uh, Port Jackson, we caught our biggest snapper over there. Really good for rock fishing spot uh, as you've seen out of Port Jackson. The last stop here is on the west facing side, Pantail Bay. Just over there is the campground. And the whole coastline here on that west coast around Pantail Bay, from Pantail Bay up north towards Port Jackson before you go over the hill. It's just prime rock fishing territory and really easy to access. All the other spots earlier I've seen, they're not easy to access. You have to climb, you have to walk long distance. On this side, you can basically park your car next to the rock fishing spots and, um, and you get a really good chance to catch some uh, big snapper and kingfish here in this area. I yeah. uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Rock fishing spots here in the northern part of Coromandel. We had a lot of fun exploring this area. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and visit fishingreminder.com for best fishing times. So we're gonna 
head further south now and do a bit more fishing along the way. Alright, cheers guys.